Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Umbraco as quick as possible using the default starter kit that comes with it. Right, let's get started then. So the first thing is we go to File, New, Project. We want to choose where this project is going to go and we want to give it a name and I'm going to call this 7.6.4 after the version, the latest version. I like to put a latest version of Umbraco um, on, my, on my machine. Right, so ASP.NET Web Application.NET Framework, that's the one we want to choose, name 764 trunk. Okay, so I'm going to choose empty project and then I'm just going to click on create. So I've not really done anything yet. So this is just um, creating the project for us. I'm just going to make sure that I'm on maximum power options here while I wait. Oh, it doesn't matter. Right, it's installed, it's created a solution for us. That's all we've got. So next thing I want to do is I want to go to Package Manager Console and I'm just going to say install package Umbraco CMS. So just make sure that I do the case sensitive correctly with the capital I and N. The N should have been lowercase there. Right, that's going to just install Umbraco for me. Uh, I've done uh, videos about installing Umbraco before. Uh, the difference with this video is it's just the quickest way to have a look at the latest version of Umbraco. Um, so I'm not going to use SQL Server, the full SQL Server. I'm going to use the SQL Server Compact Edition um, that it installs with by default. Um, I'm going to use the starter kit that comes with it by default as well because I don't want to mess about setting up SQL. The whole point of this is I want to not put you off Umbraco. I want you to see how quick and easy it is to have a look at Umbraco, what it's like to get into the back office and start playing about with it. Right, so it's just uh, it's just adding everything it needs to do. That's the beauty of doing it with um, NuGet. It just downloads everything. Um, all you need to do when it's downloaded is click on build and then run run the website using your browser. So we just click on like group, Google Chrome here. We'll just at first I'll do build and then pl click on play with that and then enable. Um, I won't enable debugging actually because there's no point. Right here we go. So build build solution. Let's just build and form it right now. Google Chrome, and I'm going to say run without debugging because it's part of the installer. I, I shouldn't be debugging the installer. So it's going to run it on the local host. So again, difference with the other ones that I've done is that I've shown you how to do it with IIS um, locally on your machine, whereas this is using IIS Express. If you want to know about that, just go to codeshare.co.uk slash install Umbraco. And you can do the, you can see those details, right? So I'm just doing a simple. It doesn't really matter what this is. I'm just going to put this in as password. Um, one two three. No, I don't want it updating. Right, so I'm just going to click install. It would take longer if I chose customize because I'll be picking the SQL, the database type, whether it's MySQL, uh, SQL Server, SQL Server Compact Edition. And also, I'd be having to set up the pointing to the server, give it the database name, the um, the login details for that database. I'm skipping all of that, and I'm also skipping the choice on the starter kit. I don't get a choice on this. When I just click on install like this, I get the starter kit, the default uh, Fano, Fanu starter kit. I'm not sure how to say it. And then, so once it's gone through all its facts, which it's got a lot quicker at doing, um, it gets to the finish screen and you'll be up and running with Umbraco. That's it. You're done. So it's just redirecting now. So I'm in. I've installed Umbraco. It was that quick. So now I can have a look in the back office of this. So let's just, uh, just so you can see what the site looks like on the front end. I'll just get that URL there. And whilst the site's running, I can visit this URL. If I did press stop, um, if I stopped it from running, then in Visual Studio, then I would have to click on run again to do it this way. 
But here we go, so I can just navigate through the site. So I've done it, we can stop any timers. If you're timing me, you know, just stop. <laughs> I did it, it was probably about two or three minutes. And the longest bit about it was just waiting for things to download uh, from NuGet, I think. So you can have a look now at Umbrico, see what it's like. You can um, test out all the, what happens if I do this, click on save and publish and then click on properties, click on that link and you can see, oh, I've edited some text there, brilliant. Right, so that's it. That was how quick it was to install Umbraco. If you like this video, please click on like, subscribe to my channel, uh, share with others, feel free to comment. Also, have a look at my other videos where I go more in depth with the tutorials about Umbraco and other web development technologies. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.